Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. Let's go over how to create an invoice in QuickBooks Online. We'll also review all the customization options you have to tailor the invoice to your business and show you how to let your customers pay your invoice online. Finally, we'll show you where you can review the status of your invoice once you send it. To start, select New and Invoice. You'll see your contact info here. If you need to make any changes, select Edit Company. You can also change your logo if you want. Next, fill in who you're sending the invoice to. If you already added your customer in QuickBooks, select them. QuickBooks fills in their info automatically. Select Add New if you need to add a new customer. You can change the fields your customer sees in this section by going to Manage if you don't see this menu open already. Then Customization. Use the toggles to turn any of the fields on or off. Select Add Product or Service and enter what you're charging your customer for. If you don't find a product or service that looks right, select Add New to create a new one. You can change any of the info you see here. Add as many products and services as you want. Next are the options you'll offer your customer to pay you online. To change these, select Payment Options and toggle any options on or off. Note, you'll need to sign up for QuickBooks Payments in order to receive online payments. But you can sign up for that here if you haven't already. You can add fields for a shipping fee or a discount by toggling those fields on. Then add those amounts to your invoice. If you set up sales tax in QuickBooks and this invoice includes taxable products, then you'll see your sales tax here. You can write a note or add an attachment for your customer in these fields. Adjust the look of your invoice by going to Design and updating the color and font of your invoice to something that suits your company's design. Note, if you created templates using your previous invoicing experience, you can choose those here. But some functions will not be available when using these. If this is a sale that repeats over time on a schedule, you have some options. If you mark an invoice as a recurring invoice, QuickBooks will create and send the invoice to your customer over and over on a schedule you set. The customer chooses to pay each invoice individually though, and you'll need to wait for your customer to pay each one before you receive their payment. If you use QuickBooks Payments, you can also set up a recurring payment. With a recurring payment, your customer approves the payment terms by entering and submitting their payment information through our secure online portal. Then you receive their on-time payments automatically on the schedule you set. You can also set up automatic invoice reminders here if you want to prompt your customer to pay if the invoice is due or almost due. Preview what your customer will see with the PDF view or the Payor view at any time when creating your invoice. Once everything looks just right, you can email your invoice to your customer, download and print it, print a packing slip, or share a link to the invoice. We'll choose to email this invoice. Review the info, and when you're ready, select Send Invoice. QuickBooks confirms that the email was sent to your customer. You can review the status of your invoices by going to Sales and Invoices. Select an invoice for details on its status. This menu also has some handy options like creating a duplicate, voiding or deleting an invoice, and more. If you want to view an audit history or a transaction journal for the invoice, select Edit, and you'll see those options under Actions. Now you're ready to create and send invoices in QuickBooks Online.